Alrighty, so we have an exciting construction update for you today out of Canada's Wonderland for Yukon Striker. Um, and it might take some of you by surprise. So if you're looking at the screen, you're seeing two airtime pieces on flatbeds that are going to be transported into the park. The airtime pieces going into the park? Hmm, what could they possibly be working on? So, um, as you can see, the airtime pieces are heading on into the park for a specific reason. As you can see, the drop out of the MCBR is done and they've started the incline for the airtime hill. So um, we'll have an update for you guys tomorrow as well. Um, the airtime hill should be completed and they're working their way back to the brake run. So the, all the way from the MCBR to the brake run should be done early next week. On top of that, they've started the incline into the vertical loop as well. They are really rushing this thing. Again, we're predicting that this thing is scheduled to be done by uh, December 21st, um, right before the Christmas holidays. And then you'll see the Frontier Canada team come in and do construction. The reason is that crane takes up way too much space for construction equipment to be working in that area. However, I will say they've started in the station area. They have one excavator down there and a team down there working on the station area. Um, so that's started. But remember, there is a whole themed area like Blue Ridge Junk Junction at Carowinds coming to Canada as well. So you have Frontier Canada coming to Canada's Wonderland. So that's a whole nother theme project on top of Yukon Striker. And the crane takes up almost that entire area where the team's gonna need to work up in the Timberwolf area. Um, so as you can see, the incline into the vertical loop has started. You have the hill into the airtime hill, then the helix into the brake run started. So that's super exciting. This thing's starting to move a lot faster than it has before. Um, so filming every day is going to be exciting again. Um, it is harder to see what's done because uh, there was a snowstorm um, starting when the drone was up. Uh, but Craig, I wanted to grab you guys some quick footage of what was going on. So again, uh, you have the airtime hill out of the MCBR started. I'll point it out with an arrow because it is harder to see when there's snow and somewhat foggy-ish because of the snow. There's a little um, fog <laughs> on the screen. It's definitely harder to see. But um, even more exciting is the Mindbuster area. So there's some holes being dug around the structure. In fact, there's a big hole dug out um, beside the drop, which is weird. On the right side of the drop, the side that's harder to see, there's a big hole dug out, um, kind of in between the drop and the helix. And then you have little tiny holes dug out in the brake run area uh, down by the white trailers there. So it's definitely weird and exciting what's going on. It's definitely not anything for 2019. Um, I can guarantee you guys that. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Again, there will be an update tomorrow as well. So um, hopefully you guys are excited for that because I'm sure it's going to be exciting. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this construction update, guys. Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.